Hi, welcome to Troubadour's videos. Been receiving a lot of questions recently about the X58 classified motherboard and the Northbridge chip running extremely hot. So today we're going to conduct experiments both with air cooling and liquid cooling in the Northbridge of the X58 classified motherboard. Here is the stock passive heatsink on the X58 classified motherboard. This is without a doubt one of the largest passive heatsinks I've seen on a motherboard to date. This heatsink contains four heat pipes, 22 nickel plated steel heat dissipation plates or fins for the north bridge, as well as a large copper and aluminum south bridge heatsink. For this benchmark we will be obtaining the temperatures from the classified BIOS PC Health status screen. This temperature is logged after 30 minutes of idle condition. Uh, the baseline temp for today's test is 72 degrees on the north bridge using the stock heatsink. We're using a 40mm 6CFM fan available for Newegg or a computer store for less than $5. On the bottom of the fan we've added two double sided adhesion pads. This is to assist in bonding the fan to the heatsink fins. We also need two screws for the final assembly. Installation of the fan is easy. The stock classified heatsink already comes with two pre-drilled holes. Attach the fan to the heatsink, plug it into the motherboard and that's pretty much it. Here is the 40mm fan installed on the North Bridge cooler. Let's see exactly what kind of temperatures we can get from this $5 mod. A big drop in temperatures, 55 degrees C on the North Bridge with simply adding a $5 fan to this setup. And here is the MB EVX 58 CF water block from Coulons. This is an exclusive fitment for the EVJ X58 classified motherboard. Let's take this out of the box and see exactly what comes with this water block kit. Here you have a package of replacement screws and washers, uh, thermal paste, some thermal pads as well as an instruction guide and here is the block itself. Let's take this out of the box and uh, see if we can fit it on the motherboard and see how easy it is. To start the installation you will need to turn your motherboard over. With your motherboard turned you'll need to remove the following six screws. When these screws are removed turn the motherboard back right face up and there you are, one of the largest heat sinks I've seen on a motherboard to date. This classified motherboard heat sink for the Northbridge chipset is an absolute behemoth. Look at the size of that. Using an alcohol swab, carefully clean all the chips and components that are going to make contact with this water block. Now we'll need to remove a second passive heatsink off the classified motherboard. Again turning the board over, remove the following two screws. With all these heatsinks removed this is exactly what your motherboard should look like. Using an alcohol swab clean all the contact surfaces on the water block this is to remove oily fingerprints as well as residues from the manufacturing process. With the pink thermal pads you will have a clear protective shield on one side of the thermal pad. It's crucial you remove this clear piece of plastic prior to installing the thermal pad on the water block. With a nice clean water block let's go ahead and install all our thermal pads on the contact areas as well as some of our thermal paste. For this particular install today we're going to be using the OCZ Freeze brand thermal paste. Now very carefully lower your water block onto the motherboard. 
try and keep perfect alignment with the holes for the original heatsink. Now for the tricky part, turning the motherboard over you don't want to lose alignment with this water block and the holes on the motherboard itself. Use some of the white foam packaging that comes with this water block, apply enough pressure so you can turn the motherboard over and rest the motherboard on that white packaging as well. Now keep firm pressure on there at least until you have a couple of screws in the water block to stop that alignment moving around on the motherboard. Securely attach all the eight screws that come with this water block kit and turn your motherboard back over. And there we have one very impressive Northbridge Southbridge water block from Coulons. So let's install this motherboard back into the computer, boot it up and see exactly what results we get from using this water block. This water block does come drilled and tapped for G quarter threaded nozzles. So today we're going to be using 13 millimeter or half inch hoses on this water block. For the test we're going to be using the Coolant's ERM 3K4U liquid coolant system. Temperature of the coolant is 19 degrees C or 66 degrees F. So let's have a look at the final result and see exactly how much influence water cooling has on the Northbridge temperature of the X58 classified motherboard. Whoa! 24 degrees C on the Northbridge using the Coolant's water block. Absolutely wicked extreme cooling coming off this setup. A quick recap of the results of the Coolant's EVX 58 CF water block taking that Northbridge chipset down to 24 degrees C, the cheap mod, the $5 40mm 6 CFM fan, taking the temperature down to 55 degrees C, and our stock passive heatsink coming in at 72 degrees C. Thanks again for watching Troubadour's videos. I hope this video helped you. As always, feel free to subscribe if you wish to stay up to date with the latest and greatest in gaming and PC hardware. Thanks again, guys, and take care.